Happy Sunday, everybody. It's been a few weeks. Um, I've been dealing with some life and other stuff. And we're going to do what in the business world I would call a fast start. Um, it's a technique to kind of find a couple quick wins to motivate you to keep moving forward. Some people get really motivated by just getting the biggest, ugliest thing out of the way. And I'm glad that idea works for some people with motivation. For me, I like to have a couple quick, easy wins. And that builds my confidence and my motivation to keep going for bigger things and then go tackle that. So the bigger project that I've got two kind of going on this month, I want to finish up this Outlander cosplay that I've been working on because I want to just have that. I think the, the Claire Fraser cosplay would be super fun to go run around in when spring comes through. And the other one is a doublet for a friend of mine. So I'm going to ask their permission before I start recording that. But my Outlander cosplay is something that is going to be on this channel regardless. And to do that, we need an under petticoat. Um, you guys kind of saw glimpses of it in the last video. And today we're going to talk through making an 18th century petticoat. One of the things that I find critical to a fast start with sewing is pick an easy project. Pick something that you're going to find a lot of joy and love in. And it can be because of the research. It can be because of a bigger project it's part of. But the big thing that you want to do with this is make it something easy, make it something fast. And you want it to have fairly quick results. So while I normally do a lot of hand sewing, this one actually does have some machine sewing to it. Um, I did pleats in here and then I ran those pleats through a machine to do a stay stitch on them. My side seams were done with the machine. But the rest of it is my favorite hand finishings. And the other thing that made this particular project fast start for me was this fabric. It has been in my stash forever, it feels like. Probably been at least 10 years. I got it or was gifted it, something like that, in college. And I've always loved the cotton sateen that makes this up. It's so soft, but then it has body and it's shiny and it's got this super cute little pinstripe woven into it. But there's only two yards. You can't do a whole lot. Um, ironically, it is the perfect amount for someone my height to make a petticoat out of. So that's what we're doing. Um, look down in the description if you want exact yardage for that and ma other materials. So look down in the description for a list out of the materials we're going to be using today and let's get started. I'm going to do a quick sketch and kind of show you guys how the layout works. Okay, so first things first, we took the yardage that I have after it was washed, dried, and ironed, and split the 36 inches in half so that I would have two panels, which were 36 inches long by 44 inches wide. I am about 5'6", five, 5'7", five, depending on who's measuring me and if I'm slouching. So this was a perfect under petticoat length for me. We aren't leveling this over false rumps or anything like that. So I don't have to worry about additional length in one side versus the other. It's gonna be completely reversible in my case. So I have my two panels. I went 10 inches down on both sides and then did a quick side seam for both sides. And 
then I went through and I did my hand hem. It was just as easy to throw the hem on right now because I don't need it balanced one way or the other for my where I carry my weight. I'm pretty symmetrical front to back. And once that hem was in, I then got to start on all the pleating. It wasn't as bad as my cartridge pleated skirts can get. So I did one big center box pleat, which is this guy. And then I kept filling in with all these knife pleats on the side. That way I could just quickly pleat it down and I pleated it to half of my waist measurement. That way I knew it would go all the way around me. I wouldn't have big side gaps because that wasn't something that I particularly enjoyed the look of. And for this one, it gives me really good coverage in case there's a gap on an over petticoat at some later date. So after all of those pleats were done, I used my machine, ran through and did a quick round of stay stitching on both sides of my skirt now, front and back and got to release all the pins so I didn't stab myself. I don't know if you guys personally find that obnoxious, but I hate stabbing myself with pins while I'm working. And the petticoat's almost completely done at this point. The last step I had was binding the top of this in inch and a half wide twill tape. So I just folded that over everything and then did a quick stitch uh, felled down the back side of it and I tied little knots in the ends of my twill tape so that it wouldn't fray any farther than it had. And we have a petticoat. Putting these on, you're gonna put it on, I like to tie the back first, and so I bring the back strings around to my front and tie them. Um, some people tied them off to the side. I personally just have tied them at my waist. And then take those same sets of strings from the front panel and tie them around your back. And you got a petticoat. Pretty super easy, right? That is why I picked this up as my fast start project.
Okay, so that's our video for this week. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that my little sketch made sense on how I put this together. I realized while I was editing that I didn't really do all of the explanations or bigger view shots. And it seemed like the easiest way to go about it. It's super easy rectangular construction. If you guys also do a fast start to try and get yourself over your COVID slumps, let me know. I would love to hear about it and see what projects you're working on. Uh, go ahead and comment below or tag me on Instagram. I, I kind of check it quite often. And I hope to see you in the next video. Stay tuned for sweet, cute Zoe footage. Bye. Hi. How are you? <laughs> oh, is it time for all the puppy loves? All the puppy loves in the stairs. Yes. It's time to love on the mama. Hi. Hi, sweetie. I got your feet. <laughs> Hi, Zoe. I love you too. Can you lay down for 15, 20 minutes? Yeah? Go lay down. After I film the intro, we can go for a walk. Let me film my intro and then we have walkies. Yes. Walkies after intro time. Oh, hi baby. Can I do my intro? Yeah. The last thing that's left. And then the video is done. And we'll go for walkies. I did uploads. Yes. The upload walkie times. Okay. Okay, right, off. Go play. Good girl. Good girl, Zoe. I know. Go lay down. You're adorable. Go lay down. Yeah. Zoe walkies after videos. Yeah.